out. So that covers it up there. Now let's go and hit on the cameras. Now with the iPhone 13 Pro, you're getting a triple camera setup, a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto lens. The iPhone 12, you're getting a wide and an ultra-wide sensor. Now you're getting 4K 60 on the back and the front of both of these. So both these cameras can film in the exact same resolutions. So keep that in mind. If you wanted to go and up increase your you know, resolutions or something, that's not really going to be the case here. Both these phones film the same exact front and the back. However, that doesn't mean they're both the same type of phone or the same type of cameras. You know, the iPhone 13 Pro's camera is much better. You have that ultra wide sensor on both, which is tremendous. So you can zoom out a lot into a photo, just like so. But you can also zoom in a lot on the iPhone 13 Pro. The iPhone 12 can only zoom out a lot, which is still great, but I like having that telephoto lens too if I need it. Now there's another big difference with cinematic mode. So if we look at the bottom, they both have the same portrait mode, panoramic mode, all this good stuff. But the iPhone 13 Pro all the way over here does have that new cinematic mode which is a really cool feature it's essentially portrait mode for videos which is cool I like having that type of capability is it a big difference it's totally up to you you may be able to get the same effect if you edit your videos up a little bit but without even editing it just comes stock which is really awesome now with the iPhone 12's camera, this is still going to be great no matter what. I've had really good success with this specific lens. You know, you have the capability of zooming out a lot, which is cool. The capability of zooming in a lot, which is really cool as well. And like I mentioned, I think this is a great phone. I think this is a great camera. I filmed a lot of videos on this thing, and it's done a tremendous job. Is it perfect? Probably not, as most of you may know. But it's still a really good lens, and I've had very few complaints about it. But with the 13 Pro, this is definitely a far better camera. This is a really bad lighting condition, at least for the phone itself. But this is a very good camera lens. This is one of the top tier cameras of this year. And without a doubt, I would recommend you guys to go buy the 13 Pro camera over the 12 camera. But for a majority of users out there, including me, I don't really use my phone camera that much. Even if I didn't have this YouTube channel, I still wouldn't use this camera a lot. You know, I, I don't really, I just make like Snapchat videos here and there and like TikToks and stuff every once in a while. Other than that, you're going to have a really good time with the iPhone 12 camera still. Would I rather have the 13 Pro camera over the 12? Yes, absolutely. But the 12's camera is still very close to this one as well. So now to...